Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to update the latest driver version NVIDIA. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we update the latest driver version on NVIDIA? In this case, what we need to do is we need to download and install the NVIDIA app here. So first things first, go ahead and go to Google, type in NVIDIA app, and you should be able to see the first link here, which is for the NVIDIA app. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now make sure that the app that you're downloading is directly from NVIDIA themselves, which is NVIDIA.com. In this case, let's go ahead and click on download beta. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to wait for the download to complete. And once the download is complete, let's go ahead and locate that specific .exe file to install the app itself. Now from here, the download is complete. Let's go ahead and click on the downloads button here. Click on the folder icon and let's go ahead and open up the .exe file that we downloaded from NVIDIA. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on yes to proceed with the installation. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to wait for it to put up. So let's go, let's go ahead and wait for it. Now in this case, it's now going to show you some information here as well as a, as a link to the license agreement and NVIDIA privacy policy. In this case, you could go ahead and read that. But for now, let's go ahead and click on agree and continue. Now from here, it's going to start installing the app itself. So this might take a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on the speed of your PC. In this case, let's just wait for it. Now, once it's actually installed, you should be able to see the option that says select preferred driver. In this case, you have two options, game ready driver and the NVIDIA Studio driver. In this case, if you're a creator, like for example, you mainly use your graphics driver for editing videos, you could choose the NVIDIA Studio driver here. But if you mainly use it for gaming, you could choose a game ready driver. In this case, let's go and choose game ready driver here and click on next. Now from here, it's going to ask you optimize games and creative applications. In this case, you could go ahead and enable that or basically disable this one. But for now, let's go and click on next. Now from here, you also have the option to enable NVIDIA overlay. Now, NVIDIA Overlay here allows you to see the overlay and different tools that you could access on NVIDIA. Let's go ahead and click on Done. Now, as you can see, we now have or we now successfully installed NVIDIA. In this case, what we need to do next is we now need to update our driver. Now, on the left side here, go ahead and click on Drivers. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on the Reload or Check for Updates button. In this case, when you click on it, if you see any option that says Download, go ahead and click on it. Now, if you see any install button here, let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, just click on yes to proceed. And from here, you have two options. You have express and custom installation. Now, if you choose express installation here, it will retain the uh, the uh, uh, suggested options or settings when you're actually updating or when you're actually updating your driver here. If you choose custom installation here, you could choose what is being installed on your PC. Now in this case, let's go and choose Express Installation here. Again, if you want to customize it further, you can use the custom installation. Let's go and click on Continue. Now from here, it's going to say preparing to install graphics driver. In this case, let's just wait for it to complete. And as you can see, the installation is now complete. Let's go and click on Close. Now from here, you should be able to see the installed option here. As you can see, it's now installed. Let's go and click on Reload here. And as you can see, it is now up to date. Now, if you see the download button here or the update button, go ahead and click on it again for you to update update your driver again. Now, in this case, that's about it. If you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.